Chicago schools are canceling games for tomorrow and Thursday, and some schools are canceling classes. Others have gone back to remote learning. CBS 2's Charday Gray is live in Hardy Forest tonight with a response from one parent whose kids are learning from home yet again. Charday. Yeah, that's right, Chris and Erica. The temperatures are rising, and Thornton Township High School is taking extra precautions. But not all parents are on board with the school's decision. It's ridiculous. Frustration from Angela Taylor after getting a call from Thornton Township High School that her two daughters would learn from home. I mean, Thornton just what did all this remodeling? They don't have air. Thornton Township High School District 205 posted on their website students are moved to e-learning through Thursday. The website goes on to say for the safety of students, faculty and staff, the school board and administration approved e-learning due to the excessive heat. I mean, they sitting up there hot. So my thoughts on this is like, get it together. Her two daughters are seniors at the high school. She says they just started school on Monday. They only went to school one day and now they canceled it. Taylor says this is triggering because her kids couldn't go to school during the pandemic. She's fearful of what the next heat wave will look like. These kids need the education. I mean, this education is really going down. And they, they didn't think about this before it happened, you know, putting in central air, getting any kind of air should have been thought about. According to the Thornton Township High School District 205 website, meals will be available for pickup at school through Thursday. In-person learning resumes Friday. Taylor says moving forward, she's hopeful the school board will be better prepared. We have a lot of hot days, so maybe they can get it together. We tried to reach the school district numerous times for comments about specific reasons why they switched to e-learning, but we have not heard back. Reporting live in Harvey, Charday Gray, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Charday.